So we're just at a large apartment building that's going to be energized for the first time. We had some contractors build the line. A few things I wanted to show you guys. We've got Mike up in the air with all of his PPE on. And what's important is when you're tapping on these leads, these risers, you want to start with the furthest riser from you. He's also working at the full length of his stick. If you were to tap that first one on, then he's got a live lead that he's reaching over. So you always want to work with the furthest lead from you first. Also, where this is, brand new construction, a new build, we're going to be closing this guy in from the ground using the extendo stick. Tapping on the center lead, you can see that not only did he readjust his bucket to get further away from the work area, he again is working at the full length of his stick and keeping a safe distance away from the top of that center cutout, which our safe working distance is two foot one inch without a hold off. So he's just grabbing that last lead now. You'll also notice that our lightning arresters, which are, let's see if I can zoom in. That guy right there, it's a little sticker on the bottom that says 10 kV. That lightning arrester is on the load side of the switch. That way when he's tapping on those leads, he is not energizing those lightning arresters. Just that small piece of wire from the tap clamp down to the top of that cutout. We will be energizing the cables and the lightning arrester as well as this pad mount right here, which will be energized for the first time. We've got our identification on the pad mount as well as the switch number for the elbows inside, which differs from the switch number on the pole. We've got this guy bolted and sealed up. There will also be nobody in front of this pad mount as well as the electrical room inside the building when we close the switch in. So right now I'm just waiting for permission from our meter technician uh, to make sure that the electrical room inside is closed, that the main breaker is open and locked open. So our meter guy just came out and gave us the all clear to close the switch in. He is back inside now. He just gave me a phone call. Just pause the video. He is at the electrical room. He's got the door closed and he's standing outside the door in case any of the workers inside. A lot of workers still in there. Plumbers, drywallers, whatever. We don't want them going in that room for any reason when we energize this for the first time. Also, we've still got Mike here. He's going to be closing the switch using the extendo stick. Not because it's required. We can close the switch in with an AB stick, which is two six foot stick, stick lengths. However, why be 12 feet away when you can be 30 feet away? So Mike's on the stick here now. Now I'll apologize in advance if my camera weaves away a little bit because I'm gonna be staring at the ground when this switch is closed in just in case. There's one, a little bit of a hum coming out of the transformer. Just repositioning around the telephone. Again, I'm gonna look away at the ground. probably couldn't hear that but we had a little bit of a hum come on the transformer let's walk over here a little bit closer when he closes this third one in don't want to stand under the pole we're gonna go off the side of this transformer not sure if you could hear that on camera or not but there was a much louder hum for a split second to come on Everything in here is now energized. So one of our last steps, we're gonna get Mike with his 20 kV gloves to do a voltage check on the secondary bushings inside the pad mount transformer. All right, so our last step, doing a voltage check. I expect to see somewhere around 12208 where this is an apartment building. Checking our blue phase. Actually, he's going blue to black right now, so. We've got 212.5, now he's going to go blue to red, 
213. 120. Blue to ground, he's got 120. 120. 20. 211. 211, and last but not least, 120. Red to white, we get our 120. All is good here. We just stopped by to help our meter guy out. Got a couple trouble now, and we'll see you guys all soon.